really. Yeah. Renaissance the poet. <laughs> spell it for me. How you want it spelled? R E N A I S S A N C E. It's phonetic. Gotcha. What did you do? First off, why did you decide to come here today to talk to us? Well, first, I just learned about this monument last night, and I uh, was very upset that there's a monument built to what we are fighting against right now, and it's sitting in the middle of our city. I was unaware that there was a monument to the establishment and maintenance of slavery. Well, it's my understanding that this monument represents fallen soldiers of the Confederacy who died, Americans who were perhaps not affiliated. Some were, but some were not. So it's, it's our understanding that this is a monument to those soldiers. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, what do you want to see happen here? Well, if this was truly a monument to the fallen soldiers, then there would be a listing of their names. Which there are right here. These are the fallen soldiers. The ones that were, and it's my understanding that these soldiers are the ones who lived here. And it's to represent them. I also noticed that on the headstone back there, we have Jesse E. Lee, the president, and it seems to me that that is the focal point. There's also two flags that represent the oppression that we have. Now, right after the fall of, uh, at the end of the Civil War, we watched the emergence of uh, the 13th Amendment, which permits slavery to exist within the prison industrial complex that now exists today. And it says that the only way that you can have a slave is if they have committed a crime. That's when the Black Codes came out and they started having vagrancy laws and started sending people into prisons. And then now you have convict leasing and you still have the existence of slavery. For you personally, what does it mean when you look at this? This means the oppression, the continuation of a system of oppression, an ideology that systematically holds people of color down, people that are impoverished and impoverished down. What do you want to see happen? Here? I'd like to see it removed, demolished, and I'd like to see the rest of the public informed about what happened and the limits and the lengths to which people will go to perpetuate hatred and violence against human beings in our histories. Anything else you'd like to add? Not at this moment.